I'm Christian Abbott. I'm Nathan Lavender. I'm Sean Abbott. And this is the Red Mist Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Red Mist Podcast, Season 2, Episode 30. The number 30, Momo Ferrari SP333. Classic. Very. Okay. Love it. Yeah, I, yeah? I do you like, like that, Nate? Well. You like yeah, that? Yeah, All right. I, I, I know, I no was, NASCAR tonight, but... I hey, said red and yellow. This hey, is an hey, awesome car. Know, there's plenty of them. Plenty Fantastic of them, car. But. All right, on tonight's episode, we're going to talk NASCAR, the firecracker 400 at Michigan. That's just so wrong in every aspect. <laughs> Not at Daytona. <laughs> Not at Daytona, but a great race. Yes. We're going to talk uh, IndyCar at Nashville. That was a fun race. But the, I kind of think of a surprise winner. At uh, Nashville. I thought it was a surprise. Yeah. Uh, after after, quali- after beach, qualifying. But, yeah, yeah but, but good on him. Yeah, All exactly. Right. Uh, we'll talk IMSA at Road America. On the freshly repaved Road America circuit, and went in a wild race, I thought it was a wild weekend. Oh, hold on, sorry, I got to make a correction. It's the Fire Keepers. Oh, Fire Keepers, sorry. Casino. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, I knew. All right. No, sorry. Because I, 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 I right. thought the same thing, but then I. All right. I, so it, the it was Fire like, Keepers um, Casino 400, not the Firecracker 400 at Michigan International Speedway. It was like it's like the. The, the crayon yeah. one. Yeah, the and Crayola I, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. one right? yeah. But it was the Crayola. Yeah. I call it the Crayola 300, but you corrected me and said it was the Crayon 300. Yes. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out what Crayon is, but anyways, I thought it was Crayola. It was some software company. Yeah, got it. Copy. Moving anyways, on. Moving so on. Uh, context. We'll t- yep. And we'll talk to sir, at uh, Road America, along yes. with some news and notes. However, first on the show tonight, we have a special guest, Brenna Schubert, who just won the PT Autosport Aspiring driver shootout, which was happened a week ago, like August first to the third, at New yeah. Jersey Motorsports Park, and Brenna's on the show with us, and as a guest of Nate, and Nate's going to conduct a interview with Brenna, and there'll be a Q and A afterwards uh, <laughs> if we have any questions. So I'll turn it over to Nate and Brenna. Brenna, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having Good. me. Oh yeah, and thank you, Sean, because I tell you. Uh, Brenna is, uh, I mean, an amazing racer and uh, personally a good friend of mine. And uh, so just, you know, seeing a really good friend like uh, Brenna accomplish something pretty big and considering uh, how early her racing career is right now is uh, something special. So Brenna, I really can't thank you enough for joining the show uh, to begin with. But uh, No problem well, yet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so I'll tell you. Uh, it's it's not often, um, you know, we we have all these different scholarships out there. So there's there's a good amount of them. But um, why why PT Autosport? Why was why was this one a circled one? Honestly, to tell you the truth, last year, uh, this you know this year was my second time competing. I placed third last year. So last year, I found out about it through an ad on Instagram. <laughs> So it kind of, to be honest, it seemed a little sketchy at first. I I wasn't sure if it was legit, but I looked into it, and it was only a $25 application fee, so I thought, why not? Um, and then, you know, once I kind of, I, I found out I got selected for the second round of, of applications, so then I really put in the work for, you know, the second round application, put in my, put in my best effort. We had to uh, do a lot of answer a lot of video questions and a lot of written questions it was and and do you know a, bu- a bunch of other things pretty pretty intense um but i just i put in my best work and i ended up getting selected for the final eight at the time and then placed third and got invited back for this year and this year it was four of us that returned and then eight new people so 12 total 
That's 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 so cool. And I'm just thinking right off the cuff, like this and this was at New Jersey Motorsports Park, which is kind of near your backyard, right? I mean, I understand your yeah, background no. is more so Pennsylvania, but this is in the still the tri state area or Yeah, no, it's super right. it was for, you know, such a coincidence because there's people coming there was people who applied from three different continents and like I think six different countries and then, you know, people from all around the US and, you know, most of the people who came were from who who got invited were from California or Florida. So um it, it was really it was really unique that, you know, it was right at New Jersey Motorsports Park. Yeah, and so I mean it's not just you saw an ad on Instagram. I mean there's I feel like there's a there's very much a build up of this. I mean, I've seen some of your stuff on um, when you when you participate in stars. I mean, uh, racing at Newcastle, right? For example, in, in uh, Indiana, that's that's a that's a really fun track to go on. I, I've had the pleasure on uh, rental carts or uh, one of those slower what open open wheel carts. I forget. I think they're two stroke, but who knows? Anyway, I've I've seen some of the star reels and you're fighting for those cutoff areas and you're making it happen. You're making it happen in that. And so it's, it seems just so appropriate that it's, it's, you know, about time that you get in the cars because you're no slouch on the track. You're no slouch. And these are, these are guys and gals that have been doing it for a while. And I mean, you're kind of just getting your feet wet and never mind that you're really competing with them. And so do you, do you like, Cars that have have you um have you tried like open wheel cars as well? Kind of like so F4? I not not the F four cars yet. I'm I'm hoping to try the Skip Arbor F four cars next. I did the the Mustangs recently. Um, but I have driven the Lucas Oil uh Formula cars, and it's kind of hard to judge because. You know, that was the Lucas Oil car was my first ever time in a car, you know, that uh, it was my first transition from go-karts. Um, but I really, I didn't do very good. Uh, <laughs> it, it was still, you know, it was okay, but just kind of not, it, it kind of got my hopes down a little bit. But I do want to go back into one now that I have some more regular, you know, sports car experience to see how to do, you know, with, with this new experience now. Okay, so I mean, maybe maybe it's just not your cup of tea, but I mean, so far it sounds like I mean, bigger cars are probably up your alley more. Um, and so with this um, scholarship with PT Autosport, uh, what does it entail? Is it just a hundred thousand dollars, or uh, what is what is um, beyond that? What's right. That? So it's um, well, you know, it's it's a hundred thousand dollar driver partnership with. PZ Autosport, uh, they're a Porsche team, they compete in the Carrera Cup, uh, and, you know, they also have some Porsche boxers that they, they start their junior, you know, racers in. So, oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm going to, and that's that's actually what the, the shootout was in, the shootout was in Porsche boxers, so, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, I'll, I'll start out testing and, and racing the Porsche boxers and then, you know, move, move up from there. And so have you seen what the schedule is? Is there certain tracks that you're like eyeing on that maybe you, you could see a really good result or, or maybe tracks you might need a little practice on? Is there anything that you might see in the schedule that grabs your interest more so? Um, so we haven't really kind of, you know, it's, it's obviously fresh. We haven't really kind of narrowed For down. Sure. For sure. sure the exact events that we're going to be doing. Um, but, you know, as far as my, my interest goes, I'd really like to compete at Lime Rock because I did the Skip Harbor School there and I loved that track. Uh, so that would be really awesome if I could compete there. Um, you know, obviously it would be cool to compete at New Jersey Motorsports Park because I have some experience there. Right, um, for obvious reasons. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as some other tracks, I've heard really good things about, like, VIR. I've never been there. Uh, you know, it, you know, I could I could name any track. I, I, you know, there's so many that I still need to experience. So I'd be I'd be happy going anywhere. For sure. 
And so let me ask you this: beyond uh, PT Autosport, uh, what do you what do you going to be uh, racing this year? Is there anything in the works, maybe coming up too, or? So there definitely are some things in the works. Um, you know, don't necessarily want to go in depth with them at this point, but we are working on some things. Uh, you know, possibly some opportunities in a GT4 came in. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so um, we're working on some stuff. Can't really say too, too much right now, but, uh, you know, and I'm I'm also, I've been promoting Skip Barber a little bit. I have, you know, an awesome relationship with Skip Barber Racing School. Just love them to death. And, That's uh, so cool. Yeah. So I've been kind of, you know, strengthening my relationship with them as well. So, you know, hoping that that, 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 that relationship continues and yeah so this this is just kind of the icing on the cake and obviously a huge jumping off point in my career but there's some other things in the works too so hopefully you know 2024 is going to be a really big year yeah i mean it's certainly sounding like it i mean especially from the sounds like it's it's going to be maybe more recent cars which is always exciting so um and yeah. anything in go-karting with uh stars maybe or yeah, so, like, I definitely don't want to stop go-karting, for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I love go-karting. It's, I, I, you know, still think it's the most aggressive form of racing, and just, uh, I, I love it so much. And also, I, <laughs> like, I still need to conquer go-karting, if that makes sense. Like, I can't stop now that I'm, you know, finally kind of getting getting the hang of things at the national level. Like, I need to... I still have that drive to okay, like I need I need to to conquer go karting and and be on the top step at the, at the national level. That's still you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop until I'm there. So you know you know us racing drivers, you can't. So um, can't get enough. Can't get enough. Yeah. I, I definitely get that. Well, I, and I saw that with you when I uh, when I did some uh, touring car championship, and I saw you at Lehigh Valley as one of the uh, in my eyes the local heroes. And so. <laughs> Well, it was just wild because, like, you you really knew the track in and out. And, I mean, if you were to do it blindfolded, I'm sure you'd break a track record, you know. So it's uh, it's really cool to see where you've come from. Um, and so, you know, just getting a taste of uh, Lehigh Valley uh, Grand Prix even, you know, for, for me was just checking a box of just, oh, okay, I've carded in this state, in that state. But uh, it's it's really cool to see someone – from that sort of background and then you know tomorrow they're racing cars and so and especially you know like i said you're you're someone that's no slouch you're you're in it to win it <laughs> oh, long story you. short and so I've, I've seen that and uh it's you know it's really cool to see uh all that come together and uh so what do you um what do you think you see yourself trying to do do, do you want to uh, like what would you say is your top tier racing series you would like to prefer to be in? So Nate, I think you're gonna like this answer. It has not always it has not always been this answer. Oh um, sure. Come on. But I'm starting to think, you know, like possibly, you know, move up the ranks of sports car racing and then maybe try and transition to NASCAR. Oh yes. Yeah. So I don't know. Like it's I I went to a few NASCAR races recently. You know, like I'm I'm best friends with Stephen Malazzi. He's a he's a truck driver now, and I came to a few races with him. And I just the vibes are there. Like the the fans in the infield and everything. Like it's just wow. You know, and the, <laughs> I didn't really I didn't really expect yeah. it to be like that. Like I thought. You know, the stereotypical, like, NASCAR fan might be, I don't know, like, an older guy type thing. Like, no, there were so many young people there. Like, it was, like, it was so lively. Like, I just didn't expect it. So, um, you know, previously, my ultimate goal was kind of, like, IndyCar. I definitely, like, still probably the ultimate goal is IndyCar. It's just I, a lot of my opportunities now are in sports cars, things like that. I haven't really gotten opportunities in, in formula cars, so... I'm kind of being kind of pushed more into the sports car world, which any racer is happy racing anything. So, you know, I'll take those opportunities. But if I, if I was to get an opportunity more in formula cars, I totally would take it too. So, yeah. 
Brenna, you, totally. you say you're eyeing NASCAR. I mean, how much, uh, I, I guess, what's the oval experience that you got? Or is that something that you're you're totally green looking at and completely fresh and new on that side? Um, so that's another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I do have a, a partial seat this season in a micro sprint. So um, kind of getting my foot in the door with some oval dirt racing. I All right. I got to got to test the 305 sprint car last year and it was probably the most fun experience i've ever had in my life so oh, that, uh that sounds awesome hope- <laughs> yeah hey let uh, us know when you go to chili bowl all right so uh, yeah. you, can, you know cheer you on holy smokes that's no so problem. cool yeah I, I got to drive the micro sprint for the first time on saturday but unfortunately, it was only for like like four laps, and like the like the warm ups are only like four laps. Like you can't even get your feet wet. So, and then I was supposed to go out in the heat races and and the feature and everything, but um, we had a trans issue like right before I was going out. Like I was suited up, already strapped in the car and everything, and he just like turned on the the engine to oil the chain, and then the the trans just completely locked up. So we were done for the rest of the night. <sighs> Tartar sauce. <laughs> that oh, man. Yeah. I hate that. But, but shout out to Richie Baker. Thank you for, you know, he's a good family friend of me and my dad. So thank you so much for letting me have this opportunity. And I'm excited for the next time. Hopefully, I'll make it out to the heat races. So <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Well, I mean, you know, and so there's plenty of opportunities for you beyond PT Autosport, which, I mean, Brenna, you know, my my thinking in racing is I, I try to be an opportunist, right? So get the get the chances where you can do it, and and like you said, us racers want to find and drive anything with four wheels. I mean, there's some of us that like the two wheels, right? I mean, MotoGP for example. But mm-hmm. I'll tell you, um, it's 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 uh, it's so cool, so cool to hear all this, and uh, I wish you all the best of luck, and uh, you're you know, going forward in your racing career and uh, things are looking pretty good for you, I got to say. And, and you know what? More is just going to head your way. So it's uh, it's really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Just, you know, can't can't thank PC Autosport enough and just everyone else in my life who's, who's helped me get these opportunities. So, uh, you know, just going to drive forward and, and keep the momentum going. Awesome. Groovy. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Unless uh, Christian, Sean, do you have anything for uh, Brenna? I, I mean, I for so far, Brenna, it's been uh, great having you on the show, and I'm sure, and I know racing is a small world, so I'm sure we'll we'll run into each other at some point. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, I can't wait to meet you in person, and yeah, thanks for having me. Okay. Nate, Brenna, thank you. Great. We're back. Uh, Nate, thanks for that interview with Brenna. That's awesome. Great to hear. Um, that's pretty cool, though. She That's that's pretty impressive that she won that series and uh, the cash prize that went with that. So that's awesome. Sounds like she has a oh, yeah. lot of things going on oh, yeah. and, for the upcoming rest yeah, of the and, racing and season. She's, and she's, um, she's a really up-and-coming star. And so I thought this would be a great platform for yeah. her to no. really expose that to. And so... Yeah, that's um, what we're all about. I, you know, exactly. So, I like to cre- um, we're just creating really a pleasure we're, having we're, her. we're creating a vibe in a community here. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Good vibes only, huh? Speaking of good vibes, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan, Michigan, right? Yeah. So, and and Nate, <laughs> Nate, guess oh, guess no. what? You, he just oh. Oh. The- oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he backed, the guy backed the car into the safety car. <laughs> oh, this sorry. Is, we, sorry. We we have, oh we, have a tra- <laughs> we got the Trans Am two race, race, race going on in the background and from Nashville. I mean, which that, is awesome, but there was just oh a, just God. a huge <laughs> and then some guy just backed his car right into the safety truck. Anyways, are we live still? Yes, we're live. Yeah, okay. We're- all right, so oh, that's what happens when you have something going on in the background. Anyways, um, yeah, so Nate, let's talk NASCAR. Uh, um, uh, two in a row for Chris Buescher. 
Yeah. And Kazowski. No, 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 no. 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 That's and RFK no. two in a row for Busher and RFK <laughs> racing. Okay, no. Bad Brad has not won a race yet, so Bad Brad is still <laughs> on the out. Although he did finish fourth. He did. This race. And, <laughs> he had and a he, great finish. He did. He, uh, and the sad part is he's, he, yeah, I don't know where, hold on. Yeah, he finished fourth. Uh, I, it, I, I just want to get in. Does it say how, how far off he was? Cause I, I, no, it doesn't. Okay. Because this this <laughs> this was one race I actually did watch, at least like the second so half. The second half of the race. I was so. excited because Truex is, continues on a roll. Like, yeah. I, I seriously have well, to think. Well, it's he Monday. Eight, what? It's Monday. It doesn't matter. Mon- it, he yeah, was no, still Martin strong. He, he was strong. Yeah, he was still strong throughout the weekend. Mate, he was. Mate. He won. He won you the have to, He has and, to be. He has to be taken cons- seriously because he's qualified for the f- points, so he's locked in, and he has to be considered seriously as a serious contender for the championship. For the championship. Okay, yeah. the final four. And, yeah. He, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. this should be in our news and notes section. He is back next year with Joe Gibbs Racing. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Is that a one-year deal, or is that... Like it's a one-year deal. Multi-year? One year. Okay. One year. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. He can, That's fine. he can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. Yeah. Right. So. And then uh, yeah. Denny Boo Hamlin was third. Uh, bad. <laughs> it's it's like... it's You want to say Brad Bad Kozlowski, <laughs> but, <laughs> but Bad Brad Kozlowski yeah. was fourth. And then Kyle Young Money Larson, who won a sprint oh, yeah. car race the night before... <laughs> Which, which cool, was right. awesome he, because it was slide job central. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, it was fifth. Uh, Suarez and Chastain bring Trackhouse in at sixth and seventh. And uh, Happy Harvick at eighth. Uh, Ryan Blaney. Busher and, and Truex were just kind of in their own realm that Yes, race. they were. So. Well, Busher was too. And uh, Eric, Jones was, uh, Eric Jones was 10th. Did I say, didn't I say Busher? Yes, Busher. Yeah. yeah, Busher and yeah. Truex. Yeah. yeah. But you want I was to know just going through. Wild? What? This is one of my favorite stats. The, the last time a Roush car won two races in a row was actually back in 2010 with uh, Carl Edwards. Ooh. Winning Phoenix. Ooh. And that's a good stat. The last two like races that. of that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like numbers. Sean, I thought so. you were going to go back numbers. to like the days of Mark Martin and the Stroh's like Ford Thunderbird. No, 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 no. The days when... Uh, the days when Keselowski was breaking into the sport. Yeah. And, uh, well, anyway. Going to win a championship two years later. Right. Oh, yeah. Good times. Good All times. Right. Yeah. So that was Anywho. fun time there. I just don't like the fact that that's like the Firekeeper's Casino 400. It sounds like the Firecracker, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, but the cool thing is we move on to uh, the Brickyard, the road course. <laughs> Which, the, have you seen the driver entry list? Yes. <laughs> pretty insane like um, what there's five drivers that are like is, J- is jb just running here it? button running here should be um I thought, he, car? I thought he was running at watkins Glen. oh he's running at watkins Glen. but not, uh not Indy. so um i'm not sure though mike rockefeller has been named yes he has that's exciting <laughs> that's i wonder why i wonder yeah. why he got named to that is that because he ran with jimmy johnson at le mans that does or, that is well, that a tie-in? He, he did. Well, hang on. He did run with Spire last year. Yeah, yeah he, no, no, no. I know. Yeah. But, so that but, is the thing. I know, but Legacy Motor. Yeah, yeah. I think the yeah. connection there All is. Right, cool. is, that. is JJ running this weekend, or is he still out? I know he's still doing uh, the family stuff. I don't. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. All right. the, yeah. I, I think, but he should be. He should be coming back soon. I yeah. Think. But but we have yeah. we have Kumi Kobayashi. Very exciting. And if people don't know who Kumi is, shame on you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say shame on you. Because <laughs> that guy, he, like, that that guy, if you could give him, like, a year of Xfinity racing, he'd be awesome in um, NASCAR. I love him. <laughs> he's awesome. Turn up, and he's, in his day, in his, he's the head of Toyota Gazoo Racing. In world in there, like the head, he's yeah. the head guy. He runs it. Well, isn't he right? Right? Isn't he one of the only team principal? And he's driver? the team principal and driver. Yes. Like yes. Is that yes? I don't think there's anyone else that does that. Right. So. He's run Formula One. Yep. He's he at got a, a podium in his home country. In his Japan. home country. He's also run in Super Formula. Yep. Which we are big fans of. So Kumi is no slouch behind the wheel. So 
it'd be a little bit of behind the curve here, but also, I don't I don't really care. I stand corrected. JB is running this weekend. J- Jensen Button is yep. running this weekend. That's exciting. Last last uh He's gonna run at Watkins Glen, right? Nope. This is no? the last one. Oh that's no? no? Oh wow. I know Connor or, did- well sorry, let me rephrase this. It, it, he Not said yet. it's my last cup race this weekend in the mobile one racing Mustang. Okay. So So maybe So it could be a different oh, Like, why wouldn't they let him run at Watkins Glen? Like, right. I don't get he probably that. will. Hopefully he will. But maybe, maybe, probably, maybe not probably. as maybe not in the mobile one car. Right. So then we have um, Josh Balicki is running. Andy Lally's running. Andy Lally. Andy Lally. And then we have um, Brody Kostecki from V8 Supercars, <laughs> which is right. pretty cool. In the RCR car. Yeah, yeah the RCR cars. car. So he he'll probably win the RCR class definitely. <laughs> Sean, do you think uh, do you think he's getting tips from uh, Austin Dillon? No, I don't think he's getting tips from Austin <laughs> or, Dillon. Or, or Kyle Busch. I think I think, well, Kyle maybe, but if anyone's giving tips, Brody's giving them to Austin. Um, and then uh, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, SVG is back. Yes, <laughs> and I'm I'm praying <laughs> for rain. <laughs> Or him to go two no, for no, two. No, no, no. I'm just praying for rain because he will go for two for two. I mean, I think he could go two for two on this. I think he can go two for two even though yeah. it's dry. Yeah. I think I think yeah. he's good. I think he's good here. I think I think it's all good. Also, on Saturday night, he will be making his NASCAR truck debut yes. at IRP. Yes. <laughs> That's with Nice Motorsports. And it's going to be... What? I, Why do you laugh? I don't even I, know. I, Who is Nice Motorsports? No, I, are they any good? No, it's they're great. They, they Ross you, Chastain's been in that oh, team. Oh, all right, okay, all right, so okay, it's, it's, all right. It's okay. So it's so it's, it's a good, good team. All right, so yeah. it's unlike those teams that Connor Daly gets stuck in. Jeez. Well, <laughs> yeah. It, same thing. Do you, do you remember last year? Joey Hand. He was he led a little bit at the uh, Indy Road Course race when he in, was in, in the a 15, Nice uh, Motorsport car. car. No, no, no. I'm kind of recycling like, back to Indy Indy Road Course, but oh, I Nate, yeah, Nate, is I'm it? Thinking, is it Nice, like Nice, France? Or Nice, like your niece? Like your niece. Oh. It's like N I E C E. So, okay. but, but SVG is going to get some mobile track experience. Okay. That's pretty cool. On a f- they get five some eight, in. No, no, on a 5 8 mile oval. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I think it's cool. We've been there. Yeah, we have. So, pretty get cool. Got pelted with rubber. So, hi. Got, we did get hit with rubber. Not as much as we did at Anderson. But no. We did get hit with rubber. So, no, that's cool. That's cool. I'm looking forward to this weekend's race. Um, I don't know if I'm... It's Sunday, right? I'm hoping I can watch it. Sunday is NASCAR. Yeah, and Saturday is IndyCar, right? IndyCar, okay. yeah. And IndyCar NXT is there as well? I don't know. I don't know what the IndyCar is. I think they is. are. I think they are. Is Xfinity there? I think they, Xfinity is there. I think this is the race, though, if SVG doesn't take... Well, I see, I'm rooting for SVG to take it. Because it just destroys Ooh, it, more of the. What, what if what if SVG wins <laughs> and then Scott McLaughlin wins, in IndyCar? Oh, oh, that'd be cool. There you go. Oh, yes, wow. it's too bad. Like Scotty Mac's not like doing the double here. Like that would be cool. Yeah. Right. Like because yeah. I that could would be so a good, see. That would see, be a this would be a good good opportunity to do yeah. it because like you got SVG, Scotty Mac, and Brody Kostecki, mm. and then they could just <laughs> be NASCAR. oh yeah. But mm. like if they're up front, they'll just be leaning on each other like supercar style. So that would be cool. Yeah. That, yeah. This, this would this, this would be the weekend this is to do very it. Very unfortunate. Yeah. I think Mr. Penske needs to look into that, especially at the Pesky home track. Yeah. And I think he still has time. Oh, to look in. I think he has time to look into that too. Yeah. Anyways, let's get on it, Roger. <laughs> come on, Captain. Right, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, come on, listen, Anyways, listen, 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 listen to yeah, the no I'm names. Sure, I'm sure he's got the road. Re, the he's got the Red Mist podcast tuned in on his boat in Nantucket this weekend. Anyways, oh, on, yeah. on the podium, the boat's the podium. Mm. You know that? That's pretty cool. His yacht is called Podium Nate. That's a great boat name. Yes, it is. It's a great boat. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. I mean, I, so if he gets another one, is it podium yeah. two? No, or is just, it, it's no. just Scott, podium. Or, what? No, or he, no. no, no. He'll call it. He'll call it Scott Goodyear with the second boat, right? So, no. Why no, would you? No. 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 Because no. in <laughs> Rogers, in Rogers' world, if you're a second, you're the first loser. So. Yeah. Anyways, you know about that, Nate, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, 
yes, I have experiences. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's take so a look. Let's done. take a quick look at the NASCAR standings. Trex leads. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's in. These are not. Monday, these Monday, are not right. So Harvick Harvick still leads the uh, non points getters. Yeah. Non win getters, and uh, Bad Brad's hanging in there at second, um, third, but in fourteenth is Daryl Wallace. So Daryl does not look good right now. He needs a win. It's close. It's close for those last few spots. Yeah. So um, Bubba Wallace if down. we go to if we go down the scope here, we have uh, two drivers, Michael McDowell and AJ Allmendinger, who are fairly good on the road courses mm-hmm. and could uh, come through this weekend. We also have Austin Sindrick, who could ruin mm-hmm. it for everybody, which would be fantastic. We like that. Uh, and Chase Elliott. Yep. He had a bad race. At he Michigan, had a bad, yeah. yeah, sadly a bad race. Um, beyond that, I don't see anyone else. I hate to say it. The only one I think that could come through is Harrison Burton. And well, and then because he's he's one in Michelin Pilot, but yeah, but the uh, <laughs> yeah right. But as yeah. far as the rest of the schedule, you got two road courses and Daytona. why is JT not racing this weekend? That's, that's what I'm saying. Both that's, that's a mystery. Yeah, yeah, like he should yeah. be here. Well, anyways, anyway, how come Kimmy's not here? That's another. Because Kimmy does what he wants. All right. So um, yeah. yeah. So this is getting great because uh, if Bad Brad gets locked out because he didn't win a race, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> it's um, not gonna happen. It would be awesome if Harvick won. That would be fantastic. <laughs> no, actually, more likely, actually, no. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want that. I want you want yeah, somebody like yeah, you want McDowell, Armand um, Dinger, yeah, no. or Chase Elliott to win because they're lower See, they're lower in the yes, overall points. Yes. So we want them. To well, win. let me let me tell you. I think it's going to be a crazy race between Austin Cedric and AJ Allman Dinger. One of the two. Yes, I can races. see that because they're going to lean on each other. Maybe yep. spill the tea. Who knows? But yep. I just I think you know. I think Har- to that pressure I think, cooker I think time. What, I think what's going to happen is somebody will win there. And then Harvick will uh, take Daytona. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, yeah. Or, or on, on his way course, out, you know. and he gives the finger on the way out. The number one finger that is, <laughs> like the correct yeah, number right. one. Yeah, right. right. I'm number one. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that wraps up NASCAR. Uh, let's move on to IndyCar. Uh, Nashville was not Crashville. No. Or it was, no. It just sadly it was just a rain fest on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, but it would. But practice was wasn't that like on and off? Not not just because of rain, but because of people putting it in the wall. I could be, yeah. Anyways, anyways, I mean, the the race did go green for very long. No, but your winner started in eighth. Yes, he did. And uh, Scotty Mack is um, he is the Scott Gidger of Nash- Nashville. <laughs> I, I, know. I hate to say it. Food. I feel bad for yeah. Scotty Mac, but it's the best way to describe it. But he's he's expected to do good at these kind of tracks, like street circuits. Yeah, no, no, right? no. I, mean, I know, but he started on pole, and Kirk would start at eighth. Yeah. So right, Kyle, Kyle, mean, Kirk would, Kyle Kirk would do. And that was purely, that was all done on strategy. Yes. Which was which I, I really enjoy mm-hmm. that he did that. Um, Scotty Mac was second. Palo. Hello, hello, third, v- barely, like barely, Diffie. but did yeah. it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said you sound like Lee Diffie. Hello, Do hello. I? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. then we had oh, Joe. <laughs> we had actually, we had Yosef. I, I, I got a, I got a Lee Diffie comment. He's all right. Hold on. Oh yes. <laughs> hold on. Yes. Save it. <laughs> and then we have uh, Scott Dixon in fifth. A uh, Roman Shalik. Sixth. Marcus Erickson. How was Roman six? Marcus like Erickson, uh, Pato, Christian Lungard, and then Will Power. Now Will Power, that started off that race started off well. Uh, Will could not find his earbuds. Earbuds. For his radio. For his radio. Now that's a yeah, problem. Yeah, I saw that panic in the pits. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's definitely a big problem. That is problem. a problem. Um, that is a problem. But they got it out. They yep. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> overall, um, surprise driver of the weekend, Linus Lundquist, did very well in practice, qualifying. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, got shunted off in the race. 
No, he Which, did that to himself. Well, no, he, he did shunted it to himself. Off. He shunted it off. It was a tiny mistake, though. Tiny it wasn't mistake. anything like I, no, no. crazy. I, and again, we're asking a guy to race on a road course, on a street course. He did have experience on. How, so, mind however, you. he will be. He will be back at Indy. Next, this upcoming Simone, weekend. Simone has not been cleared. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's well, I think it bodes well. I, it, you know, it shows his talent. Because he did, out, I mean, I hate to say it, he out qualified Helio. Yeah, no, no, so. it's, it's, not, well, like it's, true, it's not like he's it's not like he's yeah. slow. No, like it's he, not he's slow. He's very good so, talent. So yeah. it'll be it'll be interesting to see what so, he can do at Indy. Very excited to see him at Indy doing yeah. this. So I, I think he deserves it. So good, good for him. Mm-hmm. Um, it just was the typical um, Nashville road course. I mean, guys just got beat up. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right, so can we have the uh, Lee Diffie moment? I love Lee Diffie, a young Lee Diffie. So I watched the extended highlights back. The um, extended highlights. Because, uh, I, yeah, I, I missed I missed most of the race on Sunday, so I just wanted to get back on it. But he did um, <laughs> Polo is coming around to take the podium and then D- Diffie goes and it's back to back podiums for Polo in, in as many races. I'm like that's what back to back means. You get oh, you get two on. races. Oh, no, that's, that's to, true. Fair, yeah. fair point. So I'm I, fair point. I, I know he's getting excited and everything but I was like that's oh, that yeah. was just one thing I was like yeah. I'm like yeah. Really? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Is that what you said? <sighs> I just <laughs> it's it is it's starting to get painful. Yeah. Well, I mean I I, I mean you too, just don't so. have to I don't know. I don't try hard. Don't try as hard. That's just my thing. Like you don't need to make it a show, but I know that there's people that want it, but I guess that's not for me. Whatever. Alan like but he's he's my favorite. What? Play by play. Really? Alan Bestwick. Who's yours? Oh, oh, I thought you meant Lee Diffie. Like right now? No, no, no you mean Alan Bestwick. No, I've, I've started. Overall in IndyCar? Like, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's not Marty Reed. Like, yeah, but Marty Reed didn't call a race. No. I mean, if no, I was going to go IndyCar, I'm going to go Bob Jenkins. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Then I'm yeah. going to go Paul Page. Paul Page, yep. Then yep. I'm going to go Bob Varsha. Then I'll go. So. I'll go Beswick. I mean, I like Alan yeah. doing NASCAR. I think he's. <clears throat> I think he should be doing NASCAR. Period. Well, he's great at both. I, I, um, if you're asking me, I like him. Yeah, no, I like him. For, from the stuff that I've seen him do SRX, I, I think he would fit fine. In, in what? Na- in NASCAR. Oh yeah, no, he'd be no, perfect no in NASCAR. Issue. That's yeah, but that's what he. Yeah. Look, he grew up. He was also the track announcer at Stafford. Yeah. So. Right. I do like when Lee goes, young I mean, Jordan Taylor. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't you like that? <laughs> young Jordan Taylor. Yeah, we're, no, we're, no kidding, Lee. I didn't know you, Jordan Taylor was young. Then, then again, we're we're critiquing guys that we don't – it's a job yeah. that we don't do. So we don't I, do, but it, anyways. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> the, the most thankful thing I have in IndyCar racing in terms of the commentating spot is Hinchstown, the mayor. <laughs> and when he goes on the F1 TV. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hinch, Hinch, Hinch is the best. Sorry, he's he's been providing good good stuff. Although there was one. Nate loves Kevin Lee. You know that, along with Rick Brown. <laughs> there, there was one race that Hinch kind of fed into the the F one. Where uh, was that? I, Spa? No. no. I, was he was, at Spa? No, he wasn't at Spa. No. Yes, he was. Wasn't he? No, he wasn't. Because I think they were they were at Iowa. Oh, anyways. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, you mean he fed into the um, what Lewis ha- hype hashtag team LH? No, I, I think oh, I think boy. it was I think it was the weekend that the F1 TV kind of fed into the the Britannia. Oh, they, that, they, was they, the they a, that was the British. That was that was that was Silverstone. Week. They they had an off. Yeah, week. Silverstone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 And, and what else, Sean? The the Verstappen. <laughs> oh, the Verstappen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, well, Pardon the notes. I, 
I don't what know. do we got? I, I we got, we got, what do we got? Next week, and then finally we're back. It's next week, the last week, and then we're back. No, they they race the twenty seventh. Oh man, I can't wait. I hope. Oh, anyways, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's move on to um, Road America. IMSA. Yes. 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 On the freshly repaved in Road America. Yeah. Well, I know IndyCar ran there earlier in the year, but right. Right, and um, the first time IMSA's been there. No, it was awesome. I I personally thought it was a great race. Um, yeah. I love guys driving off track in warm up laps and stuff like that. Um, and congrats to the uh, Penske Porsche number mm-hmm. seven for winning. Uh, they stayed on track. <laughs> you know who also stayed on track? JDC Millersport. JD Millersport. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Jesus, I swear that ne- next year they're gonna, they're gonna win by just like sneakily finishing yeah, third well, every hey, race. You know what? They'll, whatever, <laughs> it's awesome. And uh, congrats to uh, PR one for the LMP two win with mm-hmm. uh, Big Ben Keating and Paulup Chatan. I love that name, Paulup Chatan. It's very French. <laughs> Nate likes that. Oui, 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 oui. Merci, merci, merci. Uh, then we had GTD. Um, This was madness and snow and. Did they win the race? They won the race. Yeah, and the Corvette got hosed. No, 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 no. GTD, not GTD uh, Pro. Talk, GTD Pro, who won? GTD uh, oh, Pro was GTD hard, hard racing. racing because Corvette got hosed on some e- thing. refueling yeah, limit. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, okay, right. In the, I, I don't even want to talk about that. In the AM class, madness and snow. No, they dominated all weekend. Yes. So good for yeah. them. Good for them. They're moving to GT Pro next year. Oh, that's good. That's well, that's a big step up for yes. them. So, especially but, Madison. But having watched Madison over the past oh, 10, 10 we years, we all agree. Yeah, it's a good. It's like, it's good. But if there wasn't driver ratings, yes. Madison would have a full time ride. Somewhere. Exactly. Right. I I hundred percent agree. Hundred percent agree. Because he because he's he was dominating. I thought, I thought this was also time. was a good bounce back race for Acura in the GTP class. Yep, because I got second and third. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of speculation around the Meyer guy, Meyer, the Meyer Shank guys, as to whether or not they're going to be back as a factory supported car. Yeah, I mean, the, Daytona's a now, big question mark. I will, on them, say, but. I will say this: there was another person released from the team over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to clean house of the people that were involved in the thing because mm-hmm. it solely wasn't just one person. Um, I don't think Mike Shank knew what was going on. I don't think the drivers knew what was going on. I, I, I also I think the people that did what they did, yeah, they should be out of the sport because it was friggin' bogus. I mean that's just wrong. That's just blatant out cheating. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's not fair to the Wayne Taylor guys because they're the same teammates. Mm-hmm. So, um, hopefully, by cleaning house, they're putting their best foot forward, and they'll be able to retain their factory sponsorship and then or support. And then Wayne Taylor with Andretti will be able to run two cars, no problem. So, hopefully, that happens. Yeah, well, so. Acura already announced that they're going to double up their car count from two to four next. Two to four. So there's a lot of speculation on the what, Shank team. Yeah, whether Shank so. is going to be. Yeah. So and there's a lot of speculation. So if Shank's back, back, back excuse me, back next year. Yeah. There's a lot of speculation because it, it's pretty obvious. I think that Thomas Blomquist is going up to IndyCar. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not 100 percent sold on that. That he's the right guy for that. I really think that. I think what they're doing uh, with Linus is the correct thing because Linus is yeah. very talented. I think it should be Linus and Simone for one more year at least. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Bloomquist can stay with Braun in the other car. That's mm-hmm. just my opinion. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. If Bloomquist does go, does Braun switch over to Wayne Taylor? Yeah, I mean, it just, well, I mean, who I don't like who the you fact because, because I don't like the fact that if something's going to happen on the Shank side, Colin's going to get hosed again. This is what I don't like. Yeah, no, I, I think, I, I mean, just who, who would you pair with Colin? Colin with, yeah. Nico Verone? 
I, if, uh, if if Wayne Taylor's got Dial, a, seriously, yeah. I mean, there's guys I can think yeah. of. I mean, Dial is somebody I definitely Actually, would, yeah, I would that's, that's definitely consider, at least on the Shank side of the fence, because I think mm-hmm. Brian fits in with that team. Mm-hmm. Not not saying he's hundred percent right for Taylor, but I don't, you know, again, he's driven for Wayne Taylor, hasn't he? Ryan, yeah, might have. I don't know, but I'm I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I mean. There's a lot of speculation on Alexander Sims right now with Corvette. I mean, or Chevrolet with with Action Express because he's had a couple mm. f ups. But I mean, his f ups have been similar to Van der Zander's. Okay, mm-hmm. so I mean, I, these cars are hard to drive. So I mean, these guys, you got to give these guys, yeah. you know, some space. No, I mean, you, I've. But if Belucos goes, I, that's the thing I don't like. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sold that he's an Indy Car guy right now. Well, he didn't even make it to lap. No, no, it's not. He, the, it's not that. Go. It's just that like they're just all speculating that he's going to go. But it's like it's all well and good. He's tested a car and everything. But I think if you went head to head with Lundquist, I think Lundquist is going to beat him. Yeah, the, the and, only the and only you can't you can't go. I'll be honest with Indy Car. You can't go in with two right. rookies, right? That's especially that going to be with, especially no, with a program sure. that they are at Shanks at. Yeah. Okay, they got two. They got a team with a four-time Indy Car champ, uh, five hundred and champ, also Indy Car champion. Yes. You got Simone, who's won the Indy five hundred. Yep. Okay, so you got five Indy five hundred wins there, and you're going to bring in two rookies, right? You can't yeah, do that. Not the best idea. Fine. Yeah. If, no. if you're going to say, Helio, we're going to bring a third car in for you to run an Indy, fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Simone and Linus are going to be the drivers. I mean, that's fine. I just find it hard bringing Bloomquist in. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still not 100% sold on the guy. I, I love people that, oh, he's fast. I go, yeah, he's fast in a sports car. It doesn't necessarily mean he's fast in a Indy car. Yeah. This, this is the thing. Like, my thing is, back in the day, I know, I'm going to date mm-hmm. myself. Back in the day, in the early 80s, when Alan Jr., Michael Andre, John Paul Jr. were driving, they all came from, for, they all ran in a series. Like, Al Jr. was running sprint cars. He was running Formula Super Vs. He was running Can-Am. He was running all sorts of stuff. Michael was doing the same thing. He was running GT, and he was running GTP cars. He was running... Formula Super V, Formula Atlantic. John Paul Jr. was driving 935s. He was driving everything. They were doing the same thing. They were driving. They would drive. And then they would pick up an oddball IndyCar route. They all came up. They all won, okay, in the first three years in the series. Since then, the only guy that's come into that series, like with that background, is honestly Juan Montoya. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I just because Bloomquist is fast doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be fast in an IndyCar. Right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you get, you got to put him up against somebody like a Connor Daly. Just to, you know, mm-hmm. even up, that's the best person to put him up against. I'm not 100% sold on that. Yeah. Your thoughts, Nate? Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know. I, I, I think you put uh, Linus Lundquist in. Yeah. Just because he's, he's... He deserves it. He does, but, you know, you gotta you got to also see the... Um, Ovals too in an Indy car. Right. right. No, no, and, I hundred percent agree. But you know he's I mean? he's running the ovals with in the Indy Indy NXT series. It, it, yeah, yeah. And so he's a uh, you know he's one of the top drivers there. So yeah. I think he's bound to get his ride, yep. his chance in IndyCar. But I think it came a lot sooner than expected. Right. I didn't I didn't think he expected to race Indy cars this year. Yeah, so I'm, if just, anything, I'm he's getting ahead. Just, just my thoughts. Head just, start. Just kind of my thoughts on that. But I'm, I mean, I'm I'm willing to debate. So I don't care. Um. So, personally, personally, if you're asking me, I'm kind of a r- crazy radical person on this. I think you throw Connor, uh, Colin Braun into an oval IndyCar race. I think he'd do great. Yeah, because he's got the truck experience. Yeah, it, uh, in you know yeah. Kennedy and yeah. So uh, I, again, I don't. I'm not 100 percent sold that Colin wants to be in IndyCar. That's just my opinion. I don't think. Yeah, I think he's 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 found his place. Yeah, you know. In sports so, cars, so I think he, that's just where he is. Yeah, and I just hope. But, hey, you know what? He's very accomplished in sports yeah, cars. Yeah, so maybe, I, the, maybe like, there's like another I said, I hope. Chapter. I hope Shank doesn't get penalized too much on this. I mean, I think they're cleaning house because of that. Mm. So hopefully they'll be back uh, with Acura. I think they're. I think they're good for the sport, and I think they're good for Acura. So 
So we'll see what happens. 100%. Not 100% certain. I don't know what's going to go on at WTR. I mean, my wild card there was that Jordan might leave Cadillac, I mean Corvette, and go to Honda. Yeah, I was thinking about that. And my only thought on that was that they were building towards going to WEC. And, Mm -hmm. you know, Ricky and Jordan may be in WEC, but. Mm-hmm. I just I don't I don't think that's I don't right now no, I, I think no, Jordan's no. pretty entrenched with Chevrolet, uh, General Motors so mm-hmm. which is awesome on him so anyways all right so that's kind of just kind of a recap there from a news and notes uh, perspective um, AWA who runs an LMP3 will be uh, one of the customer GTD Pro Am cars I'm, I. GT, whatever. I'm gonna call it Pro Am. No, it's GTD. Isn't it? Aren't? Isn't this in WEC? No, IMSA. Oh, it is one. They're gonna be IMSA. IMSA. Okay. Uh, uh, TF Sport will be running the car in WAC. Okay. Okay. Because you can't. You're not allowed a factory car in WAC. So Pratt Miller. No, not, I, Pratt Miller's not gonna run in WAC next year. No, I, I, am, Pratt Mills, I understand Pratt that. Pratt Mill is going to run the pro car here in IMSA. It's in, in WEC, it's it's not GT3, it's LM no. GT3. It's GT3. It's GT3, but you cannot have... I don't... I, there's but gonna, there's not a... There's not a... Like a... A, an arrow package that's getting thrown no, no, on no, the car. No, no, it's no, no, just no, no. GT3 it's, it's cars. The same, same deal as IMSA. Okay. Same deal. The only difference is the freaking tire. That's the only yeah. difference. Um, so that's okay. um, I because I remember, I remember there were rumors of, of a of an arrow package coming, so yeah, it would no, be more no, like no. like a super no. GT kind of the, thing. And and the, like, big, no, the big thing over there is like so I don't know. So right now they are because they run in because. Ganassi's running the Cadillac over there. They're allowed two cars to go to Le Mans. Correct. So TF Sport will have two cars. So mm-hmm. possibly, <clears throat> I I don't know if the Pratt Miller car can go. That's the whole thing. I I don't know what's going on. That's that's the whole driver thing. Well, <clears throat> Pratt, I'm sorry. There can't be a factory team or a factory lineup. I don't think it can be a factory lineup. Okay, so you so Pratt and Miller could do the same thing as they yeah, as they have the pro- been this but year. The, but the problem is you can't go with Antonio and JT. No, no, no. I know you have That's to find someone sucks. like Ben Keating. No, but I don't think Antonio and JT can go with Ben. They have to find somebody else to replace one of those two. One of the, okay, which sucks because if yeah. they could put if you put Ben in with JT and Antonio and you go run whack, they're gonna friggin' win everything. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry, because that, that's just... <laughs> well, they just they, proved it this year. Yeah, they proved it this year. I mean, I mean, Nikki Casper. So hopefully it's, you know, hopefully maybe Nikki's there. I don't know. It's just, mm-hmm. it, we'll have to see. But anyways, yeah, it's like that's a whole other thing. Anyways, we'll deal with that next year. Um, on the uh, NASCAR front, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Mike Rockefeller will be in the number 42 Legacy Motor Club Number 42 car at Watkins Glen and Indy. Woo. That's going to be one to watch. What happened with... What it's happened? Good. Don't they have a driver in that car? Uh, oh. Oh, well. Oh. No oh. way. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, something happened there? Something happened. Uh, something happened. Something happened. All right. We won't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Another social, another social media <laughs> yep. incident costs the driver yep. a ride. Uh, so, bye bye. Another strike on that forty-two car. Yeah. And it's a cur- it's car stuff. Couldn't happen going. to a better driver. Anyways, um, anything else? Sean, your, anything else? Your words. <laughs> your, My, words. your words. Yeah. His words. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I. Uh, His words. Are, His words. Yeah. So anyway, any, uh, any other so news? What are we going to call it this weekend? Yeah. What, 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 no, I'm just trying to think if there's weekend? any other news. Um. Oh, well, upcoming... I saw something about Carlos Sainz being. Oh uh, yeah, Audi big and yeah. The big we, rumor. We, is, we mean the. We did call that. So there's a big rumor. There's two rumors floating around. Yeah. One is Carlos signed a pre-contract with Audi, and the other is that Lando signed a pre-contract with Ferrari. <laughs> And the other rumor, oh. uh, the other rumor which is supposed to come, come due this weekend is that Charles has re-signed with Ferrari for about 180 mil euro. 
It's about 190. So 90 mil each year for yeah. him. I'm like, really? Okay. Lewis is still unsigned. Yeah. Sean, he's well, going to get signed. Is to- he? Toto, is broke, he? Toto fractured his elbow. He did. Yep. That's What, what is that? Uh, bicycles 2, billionaire 0? Why? Who else? Lance? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, was, was he elbows out? Boom. 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 He was um, downhill mountain biking with wife Susie. And their young, wait, wait, and their young wait, Christian, son. Hmm? Uh, Sean, if, would you say he was elbows out? Yes, he was. He was. Oh, he nice. Was. Yes. And Christian didn't jump out of the woods and scare him, so. <laughs> Horner, not me. Horner. Yeah, Christian Horner, sorry. Yeah, yeah Christian yeah. Horner. So, to- Toto's I just had an image of Christian Abbott. Thought, thought some pr- <laughs> so, like. wished, we wish Toto the best. He'll be heels up. You should be good to go by the time they come back. Huh? You should be good to go by the time they come back. It's his left. It's his left elbow, so he'll, it shouldn't he'll, impact he'll, the. He'll help, a, it shouldn't yeah. help impact the uh, throwing of the uh, mm. headset. So. Oh my god! What? The Bose is not their sponsor anymore because of it. No, no, no. Bose is back. They're back in the yeah. garage. Is, I noticed that the last race. That's the I thing. Did. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Welcome back, yeah. Bose, to Mercedes. So, anyways. They, they miss Toto. Just Toto. They miss George. Just, <laughs> just trying to see if there's anything else floating around. Truex re-signed with Gibbs. That was exciting. Yeah, for a year. So, um, yeah, that's good. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, so uh, this thing now with um, possibly eliminating DRS during, during qualifying. Uh, or eliminate it altogether. Yeah. News to me. Oh, that that's been floating around. And the other the other thing is is that <laughs> this is pretty uh, funny. Eliminating it during qualifying? Yes. Yes. So Max can't creep up on you and, and open unleash the power of the Red Bull. No, no, no. That it Jeez. that that makes that makes the Red Bull that much more stronger. I know. Don't get me going. Right. Anyways. It's going to be open it's, in it's the already, corner. It's already going to be flying. No, no, but th- they're already su- I know they're already pretty su- I know. outside of Williams. They're already pretty superior with their right. don't, don't with their straight line speed. It doesn't matter just it, because it, of Adrian Newey's. What, what is brain. that going to do? You're going to qualify so they qualify fourth and fifth. They wait three laps. The DRS opens and they just go by everybody. Okay, so it, it, it's just dumb. It's, it, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. It's just to placate. It's to placate Team LH. No, okay. it's to it's and Toto. It's to placate anyone that that yeah. thinks that. They'll make the series closer. Here, here's like, the other. Here's the other thing um, that is interesting is, and this is being reported everywhere, that uh, Sergio <laughs> he he is so. There's a 125 point differential, so that he has to maintain. Oh, I saw this. He has yeah. to maintain to max, <laughs> so he can't be. If he's 125 points or less behind Max, he gets paid his whole contract. Within. 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 Yeah. However, if he falls within and out that, there's a reduction in his salary. <laughs> it's heading that way. I mean... It's it, trending that way. But 125 points, that... What's what's stopping... Re- I, well, sorry. Let me rephrase this. If they got the re- reliability of the car wrong, that's five races or five retirements. Yeah, but over the it, season for Max to win, and that's the right, gap right there. Right, but let's put it this way: who who has had the most problems during the season? Oh, it's been Sergio. It's right. been Sergio. Right. So I mean, but but a lot of that has been qualifying self inflicted Qualifying, which in return results in yeah. bad race positioning, Correct. and that that he needs he's not on his A game. Yeah. I think this is this is interesting because I bet you this is in a lot more contracts than people think. Mm. And they're going to go, well, it's just Red Bull and Max. Well, no, I think this is, you know, these are what the top teams do to ensure that their two drivers, that their second driver is up to snuff. Do you remember the... Now, Garrett, I don't know if that's going on at Aston. I have, have no idea. Have you heard the um, the story about Lotus and Kimmy? What was that? About his first season back in 2012. 
Um, they in Kimmy's contract there was a clause or whatever stating that you get X many points, we'll pay you X dollars. And he, oh, he literally bankrupted the team. Yeah, pr- yeah, he he yeah. he basically I had did. to rewrite okay, I'm sorry. it. I did. Yeah. Or they, they basically had to go back and say like, "Will you just accept this amount because if you take I love the that. full amount, like yeah. we can't we run. can't, we pay can't you. run." Yeah. Or or like we could pay you still yeah. because we agreed to it, but yeah. we won't be racing next year. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways. What do you think of that, Nate? <laughs> Wild. Wild. So, uh, it, it is. It yeah. is. So I look. So we don't have any, um, no Formula One. Uh, anyone want to be a prediction on the IndyCar winner? Uh, Polo. I'm going to go with Dixon. Nate? Nate? Well, it's like, oh, I want to say... I can't say it, but I want to say it. Colton Herta. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. All right. I know, I know, I know, I know, well, I know. If, it's it, like, if it rains, Colton has a chance. He has a great chance, but I'll tell you, it's like, is Andretti going to run into their Ferrari-esque yeah. ways? Actually, yeah. the, the dark horse for me is going to be Lundgaard. Oh, I like that. Oh, well, well, uh, well I, got, I got a good underdog for you, too. It's, good, it's, it's really out in right field. Jack Harvey. Is always good at this track. Okay. And very much underrated. All right. So, might suffer, might get another podium at this track. He's just got a niche for this track yeah. for mm-hmm. some reason. Nope, it's, not a problem. It's a thing. It's a thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. One to keep an eye on for sure. Like it. Like it. All right. All right. Um, so on that note, um, I want to just thank Nate for um, bringing in. Um, Brianna Schubert? Brenna. Brenna Schubert. Bre- Bre- Brenna Sorry. Schubert. Brenna. Yeah. Brianna. <laughs> Brenna. No, no. Now, uh, now uh, she's uh, not going to post this. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, right. Brenna, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but it was that's pretty cool. Yeah. That, that is pretty cool. And good luck to her on mm-hmm. her future endeavors. That's awesome. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah, Brenna's, Brenna's the class act. In, uh, Does she, she beat you, you know, in Touring Car Challenge? Oh, Pardon? shush, okay. Some, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, but okay. sometimes yeah. I win, too. I was, so. was yeah. going to say, I think it's been pretty so, 50-50. So. I don't know. Nate, yeah. Nate, you, yeah. still, Nate, you yeah. still need to <laughs> Nate, you still need to reclaim uh, your Nate, just, your racing talent Nate. because you, you've, uh, you're you no slouch either with, with your uh, Skip Barber racing experience and right. the names that you beat. Well, so. just, just, Nate, just to let you know that on the Red, I can name a few. On mm-hmm. the Red Mist podcast racing team, uh, you are seriously in danger of not uh, being renewed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got Zach Brown trying to uh, yeah, sign exactly. me up, I guess. Or exactly. everyone. So, exactly. I mean. Anyway, <laughs> just, just, just. Alpine signed me and I said I didn't agree to it. Just for know. giggles there. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So, um, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Good night. Thank you guys for listening to the Redness Podcast, hosted by Christian Abbott, Sean Abbott, and Nathan Lavin. It's produced by Christian Abbott, and music is by Alex Wart and Harrison Taylor.